When the pH is 7, then it's a case where the sample is neither acids nor base. But less than 7, it's an acid, we say. More than 7, it's a base all the way. Welcome to one of the past HC exam question videos. In this video, we're going to cover the past HC multiple choice questions of the pH scale chapter. While doing a second, I'll read the first question. There's about seven questions for this video. I'll read the first question. Once I read the first question, you get about five seconds to pause the video. Once you pause the video, attempt the question, and then press play when you're ready. So the first question is, a sulfuric acid solution has a concentration of five times 10 to the power of minus four moles per liter. What is the pH of this solution, assuming that the acid is completely ionized? A3, B3.3, C, 3.6, D, 4.0. And already pause the video and attempt the question. Welcome back. Now this was actually a pretty tricky um, question because you might have just gotten a bit sort of misled. The actual answer for this is A. The reason why is because it says it's sulfuric acid. So furic acid is a diprotic acid, which means there's two hydrogen ions that can come off each sulfuric acid molecule. And it says that the sulfuric acid is completely ionized. Right? So usually because it's a strong acid, that would mean if it's a monoprotic acid, that would mean we would have 5 times 10 to the power of minus 4 moles of hydrogen. That's usually what would be the case if it were a monoprotic acid. This is a diprotic acid, which means there's going to be more hydrogen ions. And it says it's completely ionized, which means that for every molecule, there'd be two hydrogen ions. So we just take that concentration and times it by two. And then what we get, if we do that, is we get one times 10 to the power of minus three. We use our pH equals minus log to concentration of hydrogen ions, which is one times 10 to the power of minus three, and that will get us a pH of three. So A is the correct answer. So yeah, I mean that, that was a somewhat tricky question because a, you need to know that sulfuric acid is a diprotic acid, and the whole of it stating that it's completely ionized means you need to times the, that value by two. Next question is, the figure shows the pH values of some substances. We've got a pH scale here from 0 to 14, and we've got for 2 is stomach acid, 3 is lemon juice, 4 is wine, 5 is rainwater, 6 is milk, 7 is distilled water, 8 is seawater, 9 is baking soda solution, 10 is soap, 11 is laundry detergent, 12 is bleach, and 14 is oven cleaner. Based on the pH value shown in the figure, which of the following statements about the concentration of hydrogen ions is correct? A. is twice as great in milk. As, as it is in lemon juice. B is a million times greater in soap than in wine. C is three times greater in wine than in bleach. D is ten time, uh, 1,000 times greater in distilled water than in soap. So we're ready to pause the video and attempt the question. Welcome back. The correct answer is D. The reason why B is incorrect is it says it is a million times greater in soap than in wine. Remember the lower pH, the greater hydrogen concentration. Soap is here, wine is here. So wine is lower pH, so definitely soap can't have a million times greater concentration than wine because wine is, is has a higher concentration. It's quite twice as great in milk as it is in lemon juice, that's also incorrect. We've got lemon juice being here, we have milk being here, and each step along the scale is 10 times. So it's 10, 100, 1,000, so it's going to be 1,000 times stronger in lemon juice than it is in milk. So that's definitely wrong. And it's three times greater in wine than in bleach. Again, wine is here, bleach is here. It's going to be much, much greater than three times. And it says, so D is correct, the still water is here, there at 7. Each factor, each pH of 1 increase is a tenfold increase in actual concentration. So here we have 
going from, so this is from 7 to 8 is 10, from 7 to 9 is 100, from 7 to 10 is 1000, so D is correct, 1000 times greater. What would be the pH of a 0 0.1 mole per liter solution of sulfuric acid? A, less than 1.0, B, exactly 1.0, C, between 1.0 and 7.0, D, greater than 7.0. Ready, pause the video and attempt the question. Welcome back. The correct answer is A. Same reason why we did it last time. Sulfuric acid is diprotic, which means that there's going to be some of them that will remove two hydrogen ions from its one molecule. So if you type in your pH equals minus log to concentration of 0 0.1, you will actually get a pH of 1. But because sulfuric acid is a diprotic acid, that means some of them will, some of the actual sulfuric acid molecules, will release even more hydrogen ions, thereby making that even even bigger, which means we have a pH of slightly less than 1, so A is correct, and the other ones are wrong. Next question, acid X is 0 0.1 mole of hydrochloric acid, acid Y is 1, point mole, 1 mole of acetic acid, ethnoic acid, how does acid X compare with acid Y? A, X is weaker than and more dilute than Y, B is stronger and more dilute than Y, X is weaker and more concentrated than Y. D, X is stronger and more concentrated than Y. Pause the video and attempt the question. Welcome back. The correct answer for this one is B. Now, we have hydrochloric acid, which is a very strong acid. So if you have 0 0.1 mole, what will happen is we'll get a pH for that. If you put that into a log equation, we get a pH of 1. Now, even though we have X being more dilute, so Y is more concentrated, which theoretically means it has a high, is at lower pH, but because acetic acid is a pretty weak acid, it's a, a weak acid. So even though that we have a higher concentration, it will still be, it will still be weaker, there will still be less concentration of hydrogen ions. So overall X is stronger and more and more dilute than Y. So B is correct and the other ones are wrong. Next one, a 0 0.1 mole of solution of hydrochloric acid has a pH of 1.0. What volumes of water must be added to 90 mils of the solution to obtain a final pH of 2.0? A, 10 mils, B, 180 mils, C, 810 mils, or D, 900 mils. And already pause the video and attempt the question. Welcome back. The correct answer for this one is C. The reason why is because if we want to go from 1, so pH of 1, to a pH of 2, that's the same as a tenfold decrease, so a tenfold decrease in hydrogen concentration. Now we start with 90 mils, that's what we have initially, we have a solution which is 90 mils, and we want to dilute that by a factor of 10, so overall factor of 10. So if we add 810 mils, so plus 810 mils, that means we're going to have 900 mils, and 900 mils is 10 times more than 90 mils, which means now we have diluted it by 10 times, which means there's going to be 10 times less hydrogen concentration in that same solution. And that means we have changed from a pH of 1 to a pH of 2. So therefore, 810 is correct, and the other ones are wrong. Next question, acid X and acid Y are mono both monoprotic weak acids of equal concentration. Acid X is a stronger acid than acid Y. Which statement about acid X and acid Y is correct? A. Acid Y is completely ionized in solution. B. The solution of an acid is less ionized than the solution of acid Y. C. The solution of acid X has a lower pH than the solution of acid Y. D. One mole of acid Y requires a greater volume of one mole of sodium hydroxide for neutralization than one mole of acid X. So when you're ready, pause the video and attempt the question.
Welcome back. The correct answer for this one is C. The reason why A is, is wrong is because acid Y is a weak acid, so it won't completely ionize in the solution. That's wrong. B, the solution of acid X is less ionized. That's wrong because the actual acid X is stronger. So we have C, solution of acid X has a lower pH than the solution of acid Y, which is true because if you have a lower pH, that is the case if you're stronger because you're going to have more of your ions being in the solution. So therefore, C is correct. Now this will be the last one for this video. 20 mL of 0 0.08 moles per liter of hydrochloric acid is mixed with 30 mL of 0 0.005 moles of sodium hydroxide. What is the pH of the resultant solution? A, 1.1, B, 2.7, C, 4.0, or D, 7.0? I'm going to already pause the video and attempt the question. Welcome back. For this one, the correct answer is B. I'll go over why as well. So what you have, you have a strong acid, hydrochloric acid, a strong acid, and you have a strong base. So what's going to happen is they're going to neutralize each other. So what we have to figure out first is how many moles of hydrochloric acid we have and how many moles of sodium hydroxide we have to see how many hydrogen ions will remain after they have neutralized each other. So we'll do, so for the concentration, it equals number of moles divided by the volume. So first we'll do that for the hydrochloric acid. We have the volume, which is 0 0.2. 0, 2 liters, which is the same as 20 mils, that's that part. We have the concentration, which is 0 0.008, and we want the number of moles. So what we do is we bring the number, the volume over to the other side, times the volume by the concentration to get the number of moles. So 0 0.008 times 0 0.02 equals 0 0.0016. So we have for hydrochloric acid, we have 0 0.0016 moles of that. Now when it comes to our sodium hydroxide, we can use that same equation. We have 0 0.005 moles for our concentration. We don't know our number of moles and we have 0 0.03 liters for our volume. Same thing, we bring that over to the other side, which means times both sides. And then what do we get? We get 0 0.005 times 0 0.03 equals 0 0.0015. So our N, so for sodium hydroxide, NaOH, we have 0. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0.00015 moles. Now what we do is we minus this from our hydrochloric acid to get over the leftovers. So that's 0 0.000 0, because they've neutralized each other. Right? This will neutralize this. 0, 0.0015 and that equals 0 0.00001. So that's our solution. Uh, that's our moles. That's the number of moles we have. But now we have to figure out the solution. And then we have to add our 20 mils and our 30 mils together. So this is the last step. Concentration equals 20 plus 30 mils, so 50 mils. And then we have for a number of moles, we have what we have left over 0 0.0001. Now 50 mils is the same as 0 0.05 liters. We have to turn it into liters. It's almost done. So now if we do 0 0.00001 divided by 0 0.05 equals 0 0.0002. Is that right? Yep. And now if you put that into your pH equations, so a pH equals minus log to the power of 0 0.0002. Put that into the equation, you will get the answer, which is 2.7. Hopefully that was useful. But yeah, that was the last video, so hopefully the, the whole video itself was useful. Thank you for watching.